the key to the success of any new, or innovative venture is managing risk. How can we maximize the gain for a given risk, or how can we minimize the risk for a fixed gain? This last question has been the focus of many famous risk management frameworks such as the Lean Startup, Agile and much more. However, the best low-risk tools to use in these frameworks have been missing until now. The book Innovation Tools introduces six important tools and shows the powerful result of using these tools. The first of the six tools is about successfully involving the crowd to solve both execution and funding problems. This is called crowdsourcing and crowdfunding respectively, and the chapter answers how we can apply this tool so that we leverage the best aspects of the crowd and avoid the worst, just like the Pebble smartwatch which broke all the crowdfunding records when it was launched on Kickstarter. The next tool answers the most basic innovation question, how to effectively create a prototype. This conceptual tool is the hackerspace or makerspace and is the place to visit to gain cheap access to expensive tools such as high-quality 3D printers. For example, Jack Dorsey's Square mobile payments device was launched out of a hackerspace. The next tool looks at supercharging crowdsourcing. It is called Open Innovation and it is a way to systematically integrate external expertise into your innovation program. It has driven the bottom line success of large multinationals such as Procter and Gamble, but also little startups like Threadless. If we are to ever start innovating then we need to make decisions. How we can do this successfully is the topic of the next tool, behavioral innovation. It asks the question of how do our biases affect our innovation decisions both for the positive and the negative. Industries such as venture capital rely heavily on behavioral innovation tools. The biggest hurdle for an innovator is gaining easy access to the necessary knowledge to drive an innovation agenda. The best tool to address this is open access and it has been the key to the success of some of humanity's largest projects such as the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. Finally a tool which has turned the entire software industry on its head is the software as a service business model innovation. As this paradigm expands to other industries, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we do business, like companies such as Amazon have discovered. However, the real power of these tools is what they can lead to, a virtuous cycle of innovation. Basically, if we lower risk, then more innovations should succeed. But at the same time if more innovations succeed, then investing in innovation will become more attractive, hence leading to a cycle of more innovation investments. And the crux is, if we are to solve the world's major problems, such as climate change, global poverty, or more, then we are going to need more virtuous innovation cycles. All these are discussed more in the Innovation Tools book. You can follow the link in this video to find out more.